So it was like, all right, now let's wait. Cause you know what I'm saying? You never know. Cause you're like, you gotta wait until like second, third, tri well, second trimester before you can pretty much say, okay, yeah. You know, somebody's really pregnant. You feel me? So she made it through. My, my youngest niece was born in September. I want to say September 13th, but I could be wrong. I'm not good with birthdays, but I want to say, I know she was born in September, right? And that at that moment, it was like, I already knew from my own perspective that the plant-based lifestyle worked. I knew it. That solidified it for me on a whole nother level. Like every time I look at my niece, it's like, yo, this is proof. This is proof of what happens. And this, this was just within a six month time frame. You feel what I'm saying? She was only plant-based for like six months. And it recharged her body enough to get pregnant. After they told her she couldn't. You feel what I'm saying? I like to think that I was responsible for that. But I think, but where it changed was that, you know, it was, it was just raw. I ain't gonna say it was accidental, but it wasn't, no, it wasn't any structure to it. You feel what I'm saying? It was just, it was just, hey, go vegan. You feel what I'm saying? So I stepped back. So now, like I said, I'm in Philly. Now it's like 2016 and you know, I start working and I met one of my homeboys, my homeboy Will. You know what I'm saying? And him and I, we were, we were real tight. You know what I'm saying? Cause we worked together and everything, but we was together all the time. But it was dope because, you know what I mean? We were both entrepreneur minded. We were both health minded, but I was more health conscious and he was more entrepreneur conscious. We kind of just traded information like at work. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was, it was dope because it was like, you know what I mean? We, we were able to grow and keep each other on our toes. You know what I'm saying? To get us to the points that we are right now. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Will. You know what I'm saying? That's my right hand man out here in Philly. You feel me? So me and um so you know, he would ask me little things like, um, yeah, so I noticed like it started because every day I would come to work with a gallon of water. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, why you drink a gallon of water? And it was it started off like, yeah, because I gotta make sure I keep the herbs moving through my body. Herbs, like like reefer, nah, nah, the herbs that I use for my vitamins and minerals, I gotta you know what I'm saying? You don't want to let them in. So we just got into a conversation and then it kind of evolved from there. It was every day like, yo, so what do you think I should take for this? What do you think I should take for this? The icing on the cake for him, which was, it's crazy because this was the icing on the cake for my sister too. The icing on the cake for my sister was when she actually decided, okay, yeah, you can, you know what you're talking about, was when she had um, her and my brother's uh, child's mother. So she, um, like both of them was uh, having, they was on their period at the time. And they got bad cramps, bad cramps. So I was like, look, drink raspberry tea with, a, with two drops of uh, lemon essential oil. My sister, first she was, that ain't gonna work. Let me go give me some Midol. I said, trust me, it'll work better than Midol and it'll be done. It's not gonna come back again. She was like, all right, I'm gonna try it. So I got her some raspberry tea. I brewed it for her and everything. She, it, it's not funny that she was in pain. It's just how dramatic she be getting sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it was like, it was like, yo, just just sip this. So she started sipping in and shit within the, within the hour. She was like, yo, these shits are gone. So she kept the raspberry tea stocked up in the, the lemon essential oil. Same thing. So then when my brother's um, child's mother came, she she had cramps like real, real bad to the point where it, it laid her down. You feel what I'm saying? So same thing. So I was just like, give her some raspberry tea. But instead of one bag, use two bags and you know, just. So she gave it to her. She was like, yo. It works. I know. You know, it's supposed to work. You know? So, he had a, um, his girlfriend. So, now fast forward to Will. His girlfriend, he was like, yeah, she got, um, when she um, has cramps, she has bad cramps. What do you think? I should do? Same thing. Raspberry tea with this. He was like, yeah, she tried it. And he was like, she still had cramps, but they were nowhere near as bad as what they usually are. She said, it was bearable. She said, usually it's not. It'll, it'll lay her down. So I was like, yeah, just, you know, tell her to, you know, take an extra bag or whatnot, but she got to still drink water because it still has to flush out. You feel what I'm saying? During the process. So from there, like I said, me and Will, we just kept, you know, evolving. You know what I'm saying? We kept, we kept struck, like, like sharpening each other's craft. So every day he was asking me new questions about, you know what I'm saying, health, about, you know what I'm saying, plant-based lifestyle, about this. So I was telling him about herbs he could take in the morning to get him going and things like that and everything. He, when he started seeing the results, he was like, yo, like, yo, you really know what you're talking about. Like, you feel me? He said, you know what? So I started giving him more information. I never, in the initial part, I never said, hey, look, go vegan, none of this. I just lived the lifestyle 
and they inquired about it. And when they inquired about it, I gave them, you know, work. And then it's like, this is how it happened. So.